Why are you here, old Miley? I came to warn you that your VMA performance might be too controversial. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 pop star impressions on SNL. What's up, y'all? You ready for a Christmas party deluxe? For this list, we'll be looking at the best musical impressions on the late night comedy sketch show, but focusing on the pop genre only. Who's your favorite Saturday Night Live pop star? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Jimmy Fallon as Barry Gibb Talking it up from the Barry Gibb Talk Show. The Barry Gibb Talk Show was arguably one of Fallon's best recurring bits from his time on the show. He imagined the singer as a short-tempered talk show host who speaks in falsetto, mirroring the group's instantly recognizable vocals. Megan, you host the Kelly File, one of the most popular shows on Fox News. <laughs> Joined by Justin Timberlake as Robin Gibb, he would often interrupt his guests and break into song. What made this sketch so memorable was Fallon and Timberlake's chemistry, as well as their polar opposite energies. Robin, do you have any thoughts? <laughs> no, no I don't. Thanks to his hilariously exaggerated impression of the singer, this sketch became an SNL staple. It was so entertaining that even the real Barry Gibb wanted a piece of the action. <laughs> Number 9. Fred Armisen as Prince. Dearly beloved. What's up, y'all? You got spring fever? Let me take your temperature. Armisen played Prince in yet another memorable recurring talk show sketch. With Maya Rudolph's Beyonce by his side, this dream team ensured that their guests were always in for an unpredictable experience. Prince thinks there might be some more growing up on these velvet curtains in here. As a self-professed huge Prince fan, Armisen revealed that he started imitating the pop icon in hopes of meeting him someday. His impression shows how much he admires the singer, while still putting his own comedic spin on the character, too. Where did Prince go? Prince had to go lift weights. He's certainly eccentric and still encompasses Prince's extraordinary spirit. The voice and demeanor are pretty spot on, too. And Armisen's dream of meeting him did eventually come true as well. Number 8. Kristen Wiig as Bjork Greeting, Snarf. <laughs> Icelandic singer Bjork is possibly one of the most weirdly wonderful and wacky exports from the country. And who better to encapsulate all that than the impressions master Kristen Wiig? How is your skeleton? Uh, good. How, how's your skeleton? It's itchy. <laughs> she had clearly done her homework, too, effortlessly nailing everything from the singer's tone to her quirky stream of consciousness. Thanks to her brilliantly whimsical impression, Bjork showed up in all sorts of sketches, from Weekend Update to a dinner date with Charles Barkley. Hello, Charles Barkley. Would you like to hold my invisible baby? <laughs> and, of course, you couldn't have a show called Being Quirky without Bjork at least making an appearance. If you like swans, make them a dress. If you like screaming, make it music. <laughs> if you like clouds, make them your friends. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but this singer and comedian were a perfect fit. Number 7. Melissa Villasenor as Lady Gaga before joining SNL, Melissa was already entertaining audiences with her plethora of impressive impersonations. But we have to say that her Lady Gaga is an absolute must-see. And she was pretty insistent on sharing it with us, too, as this Weekend Update segment proves. Hold on one second, Melissa. Are you dressed up as Lady Gaga? <laughs> what? No, I just swore this for all my Melissa monsters out there. <laughs> We were completely astounded by the precision with which she mimics the singer's voice. Tell me something, girl. <laughs> she also had us amazed by her vocals when she hit the money note. <laughs> she revisited the character during a Family Feud sketch and left our jaws dropping with the uncanny accuracy of her impression. If 99 people are surveyed, you just need one person to believe in you to win the game. Well, I don't think that's how it works. It works if you dream it. Oh, oh. 
If you weren't a Melissa monster before, then you almost definitely were after this. Number 6. Chloe Fineman as Britney Spears Hey y'all! It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> you all know me from my upbeat Instagram videos and the word conservatorship. Hosting a talk show called Oops You Did It Again, Feynman's pop princess takes a stab at apology culture. This is the show where we shine a light on the social pariahs of the week, and I get to decide whether they're innocent or not that innocent. <laughs> not only is the concept clever and very entertaining, but Chloe's impression is outstanding as well. She has the voice, mannerisms, and intonation down to a T, and her dance moves are pretty accurate too. We love that her Britney is endearing and empowered, and the impression is clearly done with the utmost respect. I too have been put in the hot seat this week. I was accused of not writing my own social media captions. <laughs> That's right. They thought someone else wrote, who else finds a sea more mysterious than space? Fans applauded this sketch for its brilliance, as well as Chloe's phenomenal performance. We hope that this becomes a recurring sketch, or at least that they hit us with it one more time. Number 5. Anna Gasteyer as Celine Dion Even though the Quebec native has never actually hosted SNL, Gasteyer plays her so well that you might be fooled into believing otherwise. Following the titanic success of My Heart Will Go On, Gasteyer went all in to give us this hilariously over-the-top parody. Whether it's her accent, inflections, or exceptional self-assuredness, her characterization is one for the ages. To all my Jewish friends back home in Quebec, I would like to say Shmaya Hanukkah. Not bad, eh? Huh? Playing to the singer's undeniable likability, it was hardly surprising that the Céline Dion show ended up becoming a recurring sketch. Céline clearly thought it was hysterical too, and invited her parody alter ego to join her on stage at one of her concerts. Don't be jealous of me! I wasn't always this lucky! I was born in Quebec! I come from a family of 36 kids! Number 4. Maya Rudolph as Beyoncé Oh no! Our friends are coming to see the baby and I am such a mess. I'm only wearing this. <laughs> it's no secret that Maya can sing, but her Beyoncé impression was never really about the music anyway. Rather, she imitated the singer's confident and seemingly unflappable disposition. Mastering the power pose and with the occasional use of a wind machine, she unleashed her Sasha fierce on several occasions. Did somebody say my name? <laughs> we also love how she remains cool and calm even in the most ridiculous situations. It's no wonder that the parody took on a life of its own, even reappearing when she hosted during season 46. Beyonce? <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> Your girl's throat just closed up for a second, though. <laughs> Encompassing Beyoncé's larger-than-life stage presence, you might say that her takeoff of the singer is pretty flawless. Number 3. Vanessa Bayer as Miley Cyrus It's Miley, y'all! So this is just like my show where I like, don't you be more pretty cool? Vanessa was just two episodes into her SNL tenure when she showcased her remarkable Miley Cyrus impersonation. Fronting The Miley Cyrus Show, she nailed the singer's southern twang and slightly nasal sound, not to mention her gift of the gab. <sighs> hey, Justin! So, Miley, it's a cool show. Really? Yeah, we'll see. With a never-ending grin and a pretty loud voice, it seemed like Bayer was drawing on Miley's Disney days for inspiration. Clearly, the singer was cool with it as she even engaged with the parody on two separate occasions. Oh my god, it is like totally the morning and the birds are chirping and stuff like that. And I'm like super hungry and stuff like that. And I am obsessed with cereal. Bear shared that, ahead of the singer's hosting stint in season 39, she actually advised her on how to do a better Miley Cyrus impression. Miley Cyrus wanted help from you on yeah. being Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. what, so what did you tell her? What is your I advice? Just, I was, you know, I just like kind of did the voice for her and I was like, you know, really move your mouth a lot. And Number two, Ariana Grande as Various. Sir, I heard Chloe the intern singing some Britney Spears in the hallway. Is that true, Chloe? Can you sing like Britney Spears? Kind of. 
Spanning a four octave range and peaking at whistle tones, there's a lot of talent within Grande's petite frame. Even so, she had amazed us with her tremendous voice control as she embodied five other singers throughout this sketch. Mocking titles, turbulent beginnings, it's up to Chloe the intern to save the streaming site with her astonishing impressions. From Britney, Shakira and Rihanna to Celine and Whitney, if you close your eyes, it's almost as if they're on your screen too. And I wish you joy and happiness. Thanks to Chloe's many voices, this sketch has become iconic. She just falls short with her Ariana Grande, but hey, what can you do? Chloe, can you do Ariana Grande? Eh, sorry, not a big fan. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Maya Rudolph as Whitney Houston. Is there any legendary diva she can't impersonate? I got no love for Bobby B. Is he here? Bobby B? Billy Ray? Bobby B? Kristen Wiig as Madonna. Wiig's hilariously eccentric Madonna takes on Angelina Jolie in a crazy baby race. I love babies, but I especially love getting babies from crazy places. And Malawi is pretty much the most exotic place in the world to get a baby. A fancy, spicy brown baby. Kristen Wiig as Lana Del Rey. The singer wanted to clear the air about her SNL performance from three weeks earlier. No serious musician would ever change their name. Except maybe for Sting, Cher, Elton John, Lady Gaga, Jay-Z, everyone else in hip-hop, and of course Bob Dylan. Dana Carvey as George Michael. Well, we guess it would be nice if Dennis Miller just checked out his butt. Look at my butt! The worst thing you can do is try to ignore it! Yeah, it's a total circle, don't you see? Andy Samberg, Keenan Thompson, Miley Cyrus, and Jay Farrow as the Black Eyed Peas. We can barely tell them apart from the real band. Aw, uh, hey Fergie! Hey, will I am. We just want to see if you guys needed us. Just helping out. No, no man, we're good. fine. Go, go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Kate McKinnon as Justin Bieber. I'm a big boy now. Encompassing one of Canada's most famous exports, Kate proves that there is no character out of her range. Finding a sweet spot in the singer's ever-changing image, her Bieber isn't quite the cute kid from the baby music video, but not quite at his redemption era either. I don't know if you heard, but I'm not bad no more. Um, but I can still do this. Describing her method as, It's looking like a, a puppy who just piddled and is sort of sorry about it. Indeed, it's the physicality of the parody that makes it so hilarious. She's all pouts and poses while trying to prove that Justin now wears big boy pants, or Calvin Klein's to be more precise. Whether it's on Family Feud or partaking in the nativity, Kate's Justin Bieber is always a treat to watch. I'm sorry I had to give birth out here where all the animals live. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.